Four years of Don't Tell the Bride. 32 Brave Brides. What are you going wrong? I've been three weeks. Three weeks. Oh, sweet Jesus. 32 Game On Grooms. For sure it's my wedding, isn't it? <laughs> and dozens of disasters. I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm not going in there. I'm just not going in there. What the fuck? Now we're back for a brand new series. <laughs> I actually feel like punching a wall. As six more blushing brides leave the biggest day of their Ooh. lives in the hands of the men they love. The groom gets three weeks and 10,000 euros. The bride gets no say in how it's spent. What the fuck? Where are we going? Tonight, ambitious groom Dean has big plans for his wedding. That could be your Empire State there straight away. That's where you got engaged. That could be your main landmark. And bride Jenny has one simple rule. I just thought once one of the hotels in town. So will Dean win Jenny over with a New York themed wedding in a shed? What's a shed? Yeah, but Dean's shed. One naked cowboy and two mail order dresses. I want no lip. You are joking. Can this emotional bride overcome her dress disaster? It's horrible on her. It's absolutely <laughs> horrible on her. And actually go through with the wedding? I don't want to marry her. Or will this groom be left waiting at the altar? Could it be a case of happily never after? <laughs> 30 year old Dean Monaghan <laughs> and 29 year old Jenny Hughes live in Tullamore. They first met 10 years ago, and since then their lives have been a roller coaster. But there's just one thing they forgot to do. Get married. Nope. Traditionally, you go, you, you get, get engaged, engaged, and the date's set, I suppose, get within married. a year, the year and a half now. And we seem to have gone around it the back way, so... So five years later, we have a house, we have a child, we have two dogs. This is the last little bucket list, I suppose. Play the family together. To do now, yeah. <laughs> no. no. Your, your whole perspective changes, like, you're quite content just to mm. sit in. Like, the Sunday morning hangovers and lying in bed is gone, but, like, it's great, actually, the three of us just to lie in bed in your pyjamas and watch cartoons. But it's not always serene in the bedroom. She sleeps like a tractor. Oh, my God. Really? That's, but that's... Ma yeah, a yeah, that's the, uh, just a Massey Ferguson or some kind of... It's just so noisy, it's... To clarify, I don't actually snore. I just breathe loudly. How do you There's know you're asleep? You tell me. Okay. And sometimes That's and that that is it. So basically from sleepless nights and not being fed, other than that, she's brilliant. <laughs> Dean is completely a uh, mommy's boy. We first moved down here and he passed a comment to me, was they not gonna iron his boxer shorts? And I kinda laughed at him going, Who in God's name irons boxer shorts? Well my mother irons my boxer shorts. Unlike Dean's mammy, Jenny is no kitchen goddess. When you're so used to getting your three, four course dinners every day to come to literally coming home to a frozen pizza like four nights out of five isn't really. You're not starving. Luckily for Dean, his mummy Jer just lives ten minutes away and is only too happy to make deliveries. Hi guys, how's all this evening? Hi, how's it? Oh, Jen, you're off the hook again, see. <laughs> bit of sweet corn, Dean, and your bit of ham that you like. And no white sort sauce. Of... The mummy, she just worries about me, but she just randomly drops in dinners. And it'd be a very bland life if mummy didn't provide an odd break in the, in the usual routine of dinners. He's been my big love, I'd say, because I was 19 when I met him. I did think he was good looking when I first met him. Devotion of love. Thanks very much. Sorry, you're going to miss me. <laughs> just not, I don't forget your name. I'm going to write your name here just yeah. to make sure because. Just in case you have yeah. another girl over here. Yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah. Nice. Thanks. I'd say we're talking to you in, in certain things. I'd like to go do things, be more active, whereas Dean thinks, you know, a nice night in is sitting in, the two of us kind of on the couch. I'm like, oh, come on, we'll go out, we'll go to the cinema, we'll go do something. Dean's proposal will be a hard act to follow. He chose one of the most iconic locations in New York City. Oh, this is going up to the Empire State at night, remember? Oh, I do. That's <laughs> when it all, the magic happened, yeah? That's just before it. I had a ring in my pocket the whole three days. I was just trying to find the right place to ask you. Nice I don't even think I got down on my knee. No, you came from behind me. You cried. You I, cried. I <laughs> near, near, nearly <laughs> cried, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. just emotion. Jeez, good choice, Dean, good choice. You can't set your standards any higher than the top of the Empire State. So Jenny will have big expectations for this wedding. The 
time has come for Jenny and Caden to move out until the day of the wedding. I've been putting off packing till literally the last minute. It's been the one thing, I suppose, I've been dreading the most. <laughs> so. That's it. She's a real softy. It's going to hear her very hard, I think. I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> See you in three weeks. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Love you. This is it, so. This is it. <laughs> See you in a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Love you. Love you more. It's just the same that I told him to drive off. It's in a day or two is the most now, so. Yeah, it's going to be tough, very tough. Just not talking to her for three weeks. Not seeing her, not doing anything. Even with Caden, it's going to be very hard. Dean's mum, Jer, minds Caden while Jenny's in college. So for the next three weeks, this bride will be staying with her future mother-in-law. Hello. <laughs> three weeks. I know. Are you going to have a sleepover? Yeah, you and Mammy have a holiday. Have a little sleepover, Danny's. Yeah, it's as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest, but it's done. <laughs> I'm very surprised I'm kind of as emotional as I am, I suppose. It shows that I do really love him anyway, <laughs> if nothing else. <laughs> so. At least Jenny doesn't have to worry about Dean. His younger brother, Niall, is moving in to keep him company. The, the brother's my best man. He, he's a year and a half younger than me. For the last seven, eight years, we're the same circles. We're just, we kind of figure how it can be done in three weeks. Get everyone together. I just hope we can pull, that I can get the boys all together and just, just give it socks, hopefully, and just try and not forget the essential bits, which is, I suppose, important to anyone. Well, FIFA, FIFA loaded up. Loaded. At the end of the day, it's all going to fall on him. I didn't think it would be something that she'd ever do. I thought she would be micromanaging this. If she, and she's my sister, if she was to ask me to plan her wedding day, I would say no. With groomsman Kieran joining the team, it's straight down to business. Proper pressure's on. What I have in my head is because we've got engaged in New York, the New York team. What is in your head? Start I can literally see myself there. walking into an entrance. Right. And literally, you think it's a mini New York. Statue of Liberty, yeah, Empire State, you know I mean? a mini Times Square, something like that. Just television screens everywhere. This is going to be a lot of work. He's kind of perfectionist. He likes to have things exactly the way he wants it. And if it doesn't happen, then he's going to be nearly more upset than Jenny is. We won't sleep. I, I don't know if, in the time frame and the budget, he's going to be able to deliver the high expectations that Jenny has for her wedding day. These can be all cut back. To me, it's that thing we want. When you open the doors, New York is facing. Props, everything. That's number one. Like, I think if we get that, everything else will fall in place, or we can mark a budget to fall in place. Jenny's dream venue is a long way from Times Square. The Middleton Park House in County Westmead is private and secluded and set in 22 acres of lush wooded pastures. My God, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Today, Jenny has come to check it out with her sister Ali and best friend Sheila, Mum Eileen and mother-in-law Jer. It's fabulous, isn't it, Eileen? It's nothing what I thought I would be. Hello, really homely, how are you? Right to Thank you very much. Oh, wow. oh my God. Oh my goodness. This is amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's fantastic. Oh, your nice dress. Slow down that, Jen. See, I'd look like a right little princess then. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> I love the fact that it's it's not sitting on a main road. You're in a lovely long driveway into it. Everyone would be wondering what's at the end of the driveway. Oh my God. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh wow. Oh, it's amazing. This is fantastic. It's a lovely feel to the room. Yeah. It's yeah, it a is. lovely atmosphere. Like this, this is amazing. Yeah, well we both did say like we like a private venue. Where like I feel a hotel doesn't give you that. I'd like to think 
This would definitely be on Dean's list. I've just said anything but a hotel. So there isn't too many kind of little hidden gems like this around. But Dean doesn't want secluded houses and long journeys. He has his own little gem in mind. Actually, as a wedding venue, it's more of a rough diamond. I know that that looks massive. What's the shed Yeah, though? but Dean's shed. Variation of sheds. I think this is the bank camp we need. The local equestrian arena seems a long way from Jenny's country house dream. But Dean is pressing ahead. How are you doing? I'm just making an inquiry uh, on the possibility that your venue might be available for a wedding in uh, two and a half weeks' time. Oh, my goodness. Around that time, we have, a, we have another event on. It'd definitely be, definitely be a no-go. I'm afraid not. They need a plan B fast. Maybe somewhere like this? Oh, my God. <laughs> I love the four poster bed, it's gorgeous. Wow, this is lovely. I've never seen a fireplace in a bathroom before. <laughs> oh my God. Of course I'd be worried for her. I mean, it's my daughter, I want her big day to be everything she dreamed of. If this is not the venue, maybe she will collapse. Like you definitely wouldn't get this in a hotel. You could easily picture yourself just coming back here. After, like, the best day of your life? <laughs> I don't want to think that anything less would be a disappointment, but it probably will. God, there's nothing but surprises in this place, it, isn't it? Yeah. It's private, it's secluded, it's intimate, it's literally everything that you wanted. It's not a hotel in a town. Is there anywhere else local that you're thinking? Sure, where is there local, lads? It's really worth going into town and having a look somewhere, driving around. What? Like, where is there in town? But should I work in a hotel? There's two different rooms in it. A nightclub? Never thought in a nightclub. Nightclub couldn't work, man. Yeah, it's definitely worth a look. Yeah, head okay. off. Should go so. One rule. She only has one rule. Not a hotel in town. It's a big space, isn't it? Very big space. That could be your Empire State there straight away. That's where you got engaged. That could be your main landmark and walk everything around from that. The simple there, boys, that back wall. Like, that's a full square wall, like even a full New York skyline there. Guys, we're even up here, look. It's not perfect even for an entrance. This is where she walks in. She gets her big wow factor from here. It's got your space. It's got the blank walls for all you. It's got everything I think that'll make this wedding work. Is it going to work? Is she going to like it? When she walks in here, is it going to be a surprise? Is it going to be New York? It's a massive task. Daunting, frightening, scary. I just hope that God will pull it together, pull it out of the bag, because if we don't, it's going to be very hard the first couple of years, I think. Dean also wants to surprise his bride-to-be with a New York-style wedding invitation. Few men in underpants are as famous as the iconic cowboy in Times Square. So today, Dean plans to create his own version in Tullamore. But this will be no ordinary naked cowboy. This will be a DIY naked cowboy. How are you doing? I'm just ringing regarding the chance of maybe what story of hanging, hiring out a tanning machine. Uh, no, I spread the house though. You spread the house? No one has ever commented and said it doesn't look well, so I, you know what I mean? I'll be steady enough in the hand in that. Uh, what colour are you going for? Australian looking, you know that kind of way? Tanned and ripped. I'm after looking into now, I've got a spray tan thing, I think it's 20 euro. This is this is Niall's big thing, I suppose his best man duty has one big thing. This is the one favour I'm calling on him and hopefully he'll do it for me. He's a good crack, he's, he's, he's up for most things, in fairness to him. So on a nice cold afternoon in January, this naked cowboy is about to go where no naked cowboy has ever gone before. Into the Irish weather. Now that's brotherly oh, love. Fucking hell. Here, Niall, it's all right. I got, I got an umbrella for myself. Oh, Lord, do, you, do this quick, team. Oh, look here. The only thing Dean's ever sprayed is the house. Niall could end up with a very nasty orange pebble dash. Your fence. It's like your creeps up the fence, so it is. Right, right, turn down there, turn down there. Up ahead, up ahead, up. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it even now, now, because I don't want to look patchy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They need to be sure to cover all the cracks. What was it? It was our crack there. Yeah, the yeah. Oh, good freeze. Oh, look at that. Look. See, you all be big time for this. Warning, do not try this at home unless you know each other very well indeed. Mess of here, boys. How are you supposed to mess with it? Look at this. Whoa. Yeah, that's how I'd never do it. Look at him. Look at them bad boys. How long is this that? Uh, I think three weeks. Look who are you? All right, on you go. Come on. 
tonight, as Jenny unwinds with the girls, the stage is set. I'm actually going to be marrying Dean. My face is so sore from smiling so hard. I'd say I'm shocked, but I'm not in denial. Apart from the fact that it's kind of the Irish cowboy with the wellies. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's wearing my fake tan. I'll forgive it because he's brought me great news. I'll let it slide this time. <laughs> Today, Jenny and the girls are off to look at wedding dresses. I'm kind of like excited about today and nervous at the same time. I'm looking for kind of anything strapless or kind of very, very tight with like a kick at the bottom. I don't like that kind of style, so something kind of classy and elegant, I suppose. Self-confessed shopaholic Jenny never thought to be a downside to a shopping trip. But today, no matter how much she loves her dress, she can't buy it. I can't wait to start trying on now. <laughs> the dress is the main thing, I think, that could really throw us banner into works. I'd overlook a venue. <laughs> Something like this is nice with the... Yeah. I mean, oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. That is nice. Oh, Jen, look at this one. It's a real princess one, isn't it? Yeah. It's fabulous. That actually is lovely. <laughs> You'll have to try, have to try it on. In Kilcormick, County Offaly, Dean and the lads have grabbed a break from work to find his version of Jenny's dream dress. Now, Dean, are you nervous? I don't know what you wear. Man. You don't want to edge up, no? No, I'm trying to just keep talking here, that's why I'm talking shy. For Dean, clothes shopping is normally a far simpler affair. You know, generally, I'm tracksuit and hoodie, that's it, across the board. So even just, just thoughts of even going out and trying to pick this for her now, it's crazy, you know, and it's, it's frightening, to be honest. I don't know where to start, Dean. Jenny, I mean, what's Jenny want? But down there is nice. What should I like? The long sleeves. sleeves. Yeah, I think so. Even the belt in the middle, I suppose, it just separates and it's not. Yeah, it, it adds. It's. I don't know. How much. It's not very plain to there, is it? If you're going with that kind of look. What do you think? I, sure, like pull up there and look I like that one. You're kind of saying, well, geez, that could work. And then the more options you see, I suppose, and then try and narrow it down again. Um, <sighs> Pre frame, yeah. yeah. Close my eyes, hope, hope I can do justice or something. something close enough that at least she'll walk up the aisle to me, you know. That's all I can really hope. With Dean still struggling, the dress that has caught Jenny's attention is the last one she thought she'd pick. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh, this is really, really surprised me, I think. Um, I don't think I've stopped smiling since I put it on. Really, really like the detail in here on the shoulders. Love the belt here. Like the way this is kind of draped over. I actually love the way it just goes out here. <laughs> you know, it's every mother's dream to see their daughter looking so beautiful. And to me, it caught me in the heart, and I thought she looked beautiful. Oh, oh it's gorgeous. gorgeous. It's the princess. <laughs> I never pictured you in a long veil like that before. It's no. absolutely gorgeous. I'm just concerned at this stage that she loves this dress so much that she is going to be disappointed. And I hope it's not going to ruin her big day for her. I just love it. Love everything about it. Love that there is so much material here, even though I would have thought I'd hate it. It's absolutely stunning. God love him, he's gonna have a task now. He certainly is. But it's nice to see that the lads are taking it seriously. Kieran <laughs> and Niall, in fairness, from day one, have been brilliant. They've just kept me relaxed the whole time through. Try to keep me from worrying too much. Kieran, is yours a shotgun with you? What do you think of each other? I like mine better. Is the tra I don't know about the trail. Would you have you a want shorter trail now, would you? I don't know. Yeah, yeah just hit in the ass. Yeah. Now you can leave it on if you want to wear it home. <laughs> just, we can talk. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Finally, a eureka moment for Dean. Maybe the best way to find this dress isn't by getting your mates to try it on. I, I just think Dean wouldn't have the patience to sit there in a shop 
for five or six hours looking at dresses, whereas I'd be like, no, we'll keep going until I find it. It's not bedroom wear or <laughs> going out on a Saturday night wear, it is a wedding dress. But then you're seeing other, other options, colours you wouldn't actually think they're non-traditional. Even now, I still haven't a, having a notion which way to go. Yeah, yeah no, that looks really well, actually. It's nice. I like it, Dean, but I don't know, is it too much? Yes. Like, you still see a lot of your arm. It's at least just your detail, I suppose. It's just another feature, I suppose. Like a good car, different features, bits and pieces. <laughs> All ties in together you know, for the last product, you know? No, I think it's nice. Can you see Jenny in it? Yeah, I'd be proud to see her in it, yeah. Five long hours later, there's a deal to be done. Tight, make me an offer. We're trying, we're trying to get below the thousand mark. I think like nine. Dress and veil, she, Sheila, 800. What do you think? No, I think it's, I think it's a good deal. No, not 800. I'll tell you what I'll do with you lads now. I'll split it with you, 850. Deal. 100%. Great stuff, well done. Oh, I'm absolutely delighted. From the minute I walked into the shop, it was the first dress I kind of thought was Jenny, and yeah, I'm delighted now even to get it sewn up and deal done. Hopefully, hopefully now she like it. Next day, and Dean is back at work. These lads have made the wall and played him month. Oh, Jesus, it must have been a slow month. But this time, he's working on the wedding, getting his workmates to print up some giant posters for his reception venue. Printed, loads of printed. Grand. Okay, that's my game. Literally, it's, it's an open canvas. If anyone walks in this place, Jesus, they know straight away that's who we are. You're talking Decent. six or seven meters there. Decent. This is not the Monday morning I was expecting. <laughs> but hey, okay. So after about five minutes talking to him, I knew literally he was on the same page. The big thing was the scale of everything we're doing was six, seven meters wide. He's really pushing the boat out. And I just hope we can manage to pull this off for him. Okay, gentlemen, get your hands on that. Right, Dino. Jesus. Something like that? Is that what we're after? Jeez, lads, that's class, isn't it? Just oh. ten times the size, huh? Jeez, massive, yeah, yeah. You can put it off for me. Brilliant, man. Do you know, Brilliant. you don't ask much. No. And we only need it in, what, a week? A week. Oh, and man. that's one. Bloody spacer. Oh. These days, life for Dean is very different indeed. You're busy, busy during the day, I suppose, which is kicking your mind off. It's more the downtime in the evenings. You're kind of saying, like, what are they at? What are they doing? You just even, even going into the young lad, kiss goodnight. It's massive, like when you when you have me more than a day or two away in, in all their lives. Like, I'm looking forward to actually seeing him and talking to him again at this stage. So I'm just like, yeah, but I'd love just to get the phone call and say, Ma, will you go and sort that out? Yeah. Every lad knows the big things that's been done, like the venue, like the band, all that. But it's the little things that finish up to make the wedding. I'm hoping that he, he has crossed the T's and dotted the I's. And as far as Dean is concerned, bridesmaids' dresses are one of those little things. Not worthy of a trip to the shops, he's getting them online. We spent so much time getting out the bride's dress, just, I, I couldn't handle it anymore. I just don't literally want to go near a shop again for a long time, well, especially dress shopping anyway. This is going to be kept as simple as possible, comfort in my own home, just get it up on the screen, two dresses of life, buy them, and do them dusted. With the wedding just days away, it's time for a good time. It's the hen. Dean wants Jenny to have a day to remember, so he's organised for her to go somewhere she's never gone before. A kitchen. Jen, Dean told me you're not up to scratch in the kitchen, so today you're going to do a simple cookery class on gutting fish. Oh, that's oh. angry. That's it. Oh, this is disgusting. Could we not make stone? No, Jen, this is one of the most important things you're going to learn. Be a good wife. <laughs> If this was his plan to get me into the kitchen board, it's severely backfired because I'm now more reluctant than ever to go in. Uh, Dean. <laughs> if I find out they're actually having a whale of a time, I'm going to kill him. Looks like a whale of a time to me. With the stag and all today, the boys are trying to put me in the nose. No stress on today. A day off and hopefully then we get back in a week to go. A bit nervous, all right, but we'll forget about it for today. Today is his only day off in the last two weeks. So we told him just to relax and enjoy himself with all the lads and all that. He has to do it, he has to get one day for himself. Oh. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, which one for Dean? <laughs> his fucking mother is sitting there like, in fairness. Decided to do Dean and Niall. And I wrote dead, and I'm going to write men underneath this because they are dead men when I see them. This is nice, and I like this part, but he knew who I would, so the fish is just disgusting. 
The lads continue the fun with a trip to the pub. Actually, a trip to every pub they pass. Them just literally a pub call from Dublin the whole way back towards Tullamore. Uh, this is going across long since anywhere we go, but anywhere we stop, we can stop. So it's a straight crack with all the lads. Cooking over, the girls hit the bar. For the bride, a quiz where losing might be more fun than winning. What would Dean say your most annoying habit is? <laughs> he Not took cooking. a long time on Not this cooking. one. Not cooking. Oh, God, no. He said snoring like a tractor. <laughs> It's not what I would have picked, but yeah, no, it's it's been enjoyable, so I'll have to give him some credit for that, yeah. I would imagine Niall and Dean are getting on fantastically well, they always do. It could be something mad and crazy out there, there's a lot of crazies kind of in the group of friends, so if he's not arrested, I'll be doing well. Just one thing on Dean's mind. Where did she get her spray tan? It's the day before the wedding, and Dean is visiting his local church ahead of tomorrow's ceremony. His granddad, Albert, is the caretaker here, and he has some last minute advice for his grandson. Are you looking forward to it? I can't wait now, can't and wait. So even regarding the wedding itself and, and white the wedding life in general, have you any advice for me? How did you survive 53 well, I, years? I, I'll put it this way. When I, when I was getting married, I said to the missus, I don't have any money, I don't have, but I will tell you one thing I did have, my word. If you have your word and they trust it in your word, you'll never go wrong. Brilliant. Today, Jenny is taking her mother and sister Ali to collect the dress she'll be wearing tomorrow when she walks down the aisle. And getting the right dress means the world to her. Well, yeah, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. It's, it's just not something that you'd ever say to like your boyfriend, partner, fiance, whatever. Do you know, this is my ideal wedding dress. I think. God love him, he has gone into this clueless. I'm just hoping he's a bit cop on. All excited? Yes, nervous, excited. Right. <laughs> Come on, so it's time for you to see your dress. Okay. It's not my princess dress anyway. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to take it on if you want to take it on, really. It's too quiet. <laughs> it's too quiet. Right, Jan, are you ready for your big reveal? Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> do you not like it? At all? Yeah, I hate all this. I actually hate it all. The whole... This... I feel like a 90 year old and... I hate it. It doesn't suit me. It's not me. It's not my personality. There's nothing about me in this dress. Come on, it's our wedding day. She needs to look beautiful. And I know every bride looks beautiful, but that's not beautiful. So, it's just so disgusting. But then... It's like a neck curtain. That's exactly what it's like. It's yeah, like but come curtain. here, that's because it's big. Like, if you think it's of it... It's still a like, neck curtain. Even if it's fit to me, Art, it's a fucking neck curtain with a bit of sequin on it. It's disgusting. You know, I just think you're a well, bit overwhelmed now She needs to look at her very best. Yeah, but she's just overwhelmed now. It's horrible on her. It's absolutely <laughs> horrible on her. Uh, really, I'm not, I'm genuinely telling you, my heart is broken here. This is my child. This is nothing like my child in that dress. 
It's not. I just. I just think we're all a bit overwhelmed over the whole thing. No, we're distressed. No way. I just want to be sick now. Just sorry. It's just not nice. Not weird. I don't even want to stand. Don't look at myself in the mirror, not. I don't want to get married. Huh? Right now, Dean is oblivious to the major disaster unfolding just miles away. He's busy turning the nightclub into his New York dream for a bride who may not even turn up. In the nightclub here ourselves, there's a, there's a couple of massive big things being done. We've a lot of kind of with props coming in, different bits and pieces that will hopefully tie in the whole day. So far, we have our big DJ wall with the Empire State Building on it. We have our Fifth Avenue wall, which we've worked Dean, Caden, Jenny into as often as we can. And there's a special little picture of Neuler there as well, which I think everyone will love. We have our graphics going around the place of just all the major landmarks of New York. And then our street signs and our backdrop, which is a big New York skyline. But the best dress venue in the land won't mean a thing to a bride who's broken-hearted over her dress. I picked it, I was happy even leaving the place, but still, there's still that knot in your stomach. Is that the one she'd like, or is that the one she's going to, you know what I mean? That's still there, that's just that knot in your stomach, and you're kind of going, you know, because you know yourself, like, if she doesn't like it, you're instead. <laughs> you're you know, going to you know, you know, be bothered. Yeah, I ain't going to be bothered, but you know yourself. Jenny is refusing to walk down the aisle in the dress Dean has chosen for her. If this wedding's to go ahead, Dean will need to pay for another one. Well, we're here with her trying on the dresses. She's not really sold on the one that you picked. Right. Can we get a different dress? Whatever she wants, yeah. Whatever she wants, she's happy. All right, OK. Thanks, Dean. Yeah, right, that look. Yeah, no, whatever she's happy, I don't mind. Yeah, whatever she's happy. Thanks a million, Dean. That's why lads don't buy wedding dresses. So hopefully she can do something, hopefully there's something there she wants. And hopefully she'll be happy tomorrow. Taxis will come well. Dress isn't. No. No. Why? I don't know. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like it? Seriously, doesn't like well, it? Well, sure. well, that's what it said, anyway. That's fine. What's like. wrong with it? Anyway, it's just doesn't like it. So. Not too bad. Three fellas, I suppose. Not too bad. Pick the wee light. Oh, <laughs> I liked. I suppose I picked the wee light, you know. So, what are we going to do? Well, I told her she looks like she'll just have to do whatever she wants. Better pick something else. Ah, oh, man, she's luckily. You're not going to throw it down her down. I'm not going to send her down my address she doesn't like. Like, there was nothing really else there. That's, that's, that's my worry. Suit, so. That's my worry. Four and a half hours wasted. Loads of dresses. Boys even tried on dresses. None of them worked on this. P Tong. That's it. Huh? She's looking, there's always going to be something to go wrong, so. It's definitely getting the Fergie time now, squeaky bum. Huh? We'll, 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 uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh. Definitely. With less than 24 hours to go, can Jenny find a replacement dress that is good enough to convince her to go ahead with this wedding? With so many alterations to do their dress now, I, I, well, I assume I'm going to have to buy the two dresses. Maybe Niall or Kieran might want a dress or something off me again. I don't know, we'll see. Still very distressed, Jenny whittles it down to two. But is she in any fit state to make such a big decision? Which one do you, would you like to try on first? Right, that one. Go with the brush one. Mm. Grand stuff. Now, oh, ladies. Go, Jenny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> much, much, much nicer. <laughs> yeah. Much nicer. Mm. That is incredible looking. It's much different. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. The Torah dress it is very, very, very similar to my dream princess dress that I fitted on, so I kind of do want to fit that on as well, just to see. OK, Jen, option number two. <laughs> it's... It's not as nice as the one on that lawn. Like the back, it's lovely. It's actually a perfect fit, Jen. Is it's it? so frustrating because that is so like the dress that you picked. I know. It's the same kind of embellishments here. The bit across here as well. I do like this though. It's it, is, it is nice, yes. Like a fun dress. Yeah. It you is. know, like. You, it's beautiful. Yeah, but you, it looks like you're just happy in it. The yeah. pressure is huge, and Jenny needs to yeah. make a decision now. This is it. <laughs> Dressing when we married it. <laughs> Definitely. The bride is smiling again, and the wedding will go ahead after all. Yeah. Cheers to the bride. Thank you very much. Happy bride. <laughs> Happy bride. Thank God. Yeah. 
Dean bought his way out of one dress disaster, but he could be heading straight for another if the bridesmaids refuse to wear the dresses he bought online without them. This morning was very, very stressful, trying to find the dress and just going through that emotional roller coaster with her. I really don't know if I'll be able to do it again. I just, I just really hope these dresses are okay because I actually don't think I can deal with it. But Dean is taking a very simple approach. I can't even remember, I know they're pink and they're, they're floor length. Yeah, I just can't take any shade off them now. <laughs> I'll have to just like them or not. That's uh, the two dresses there for you. Have, you. have you even looked at these? No, they only landed literally 20 minutes ago, Ali. I want no yeah. lip. You are joking. It's a wrap dress. It's a wrap dress? Yeah. It's you free. say that as if you're not aware no, of the I fact that it's a wrap no, dress. No, it is. I know it's a wrap <laughs> dress, yeah. Yeah, so it is a wrap dress. Do you know how to do this? No, no idea. Is um, there instructions? I've had okay. one disaster this morning already. We can't do anything else. Last day, <laughs> nothing else I can do. Sure, I'll do go and try them on somewhere. Come out, <laughs> see what we got on. All I do is hope for the best thing, girls. <laughs> it's tense, and there's no plan B. One more dress drama might just push this groom over the edge. I'm happy. Lovely. I like the colour. Happy. We just happy. need to figure out what way to wear them. Because <laughs> there is like eight or ten different yeah, ways that we can me. wear them. You're happy? Yeah. We're happy. Yeah. Good so, stuff. 203 isn't bad, so. <laughs> yeah. Great job. Deal done. Right. Brilliant. Good stuff. Thanks very much. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well done. The big day has arrived, and at the bride's family home, preparations are underway. And when the priest asks, do you take this man, Jenny's answer will be at her fingertips. Everyone knows it's going to be an emotional day. The three of us, like, including Caden, have been together like for a while now, so I'm like happy to get my little family back. So I'm definitely just excited about seeing my two boys together dressed <laughs> to impress. And after yesterday's drama, the groom is in for another <laughs> close shave. It's been a rough three weeks, so I need this, you know, a yeah. bit of me time. It's a nostalgic moment for Mary. She's been cutting Dean's hair since he was four. Close to about 25 years I'm cutting your hair. Of all the times I've cut your hair, this is the most important time. Yeah, thanks very much. Very, See you on. Thanks a million. And very best to look. Back at the Hughes family home, Time for a fashion parade. Ah, it's true. They're lovely. Oh my god. I saw it next by pink. That's lovely. I'm very surprised. She did a good job. So far, the bride's house is all calm and laid back. <laughs> the groom's household, not so much. And you can tell that Mammy is back. Well, you know what? At least it'll be warm if not nice. <laughs> now, Crater. The best of luck, pet. Mwah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else I can't lie? You know, tattoos not in the house. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's half twelve now. The house is packed, it's buzzing. The time is cutting down. I'm still finding the hair. I suppose let's see him in the suits and the whole lot. And Jenny at the church, then it's going to hit home. <laughs> And finally, that dress. Oh, oh my god. Ta -da. Gorgeous. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, what do you think? It's stunning. You look absolutely incredible. Let's go get married. <laughs> At the church, one handsome, dapper young man waits for the bride with the groom and his mates. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Very nice. I just need to know where I'm going. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Give her the right shorts, didn't we? Nick and Toby gave her the right shorts. Didn't give her a shorts. Didn't give her a shorts, right? Give her shorts. It was a close call for a while, but here comes the bride. Can I go in? Is yeah. Daddy inside? Yeah. Can I come in? Yeah. Is it party day? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> you do something to me, baby. I always wanted you.
These two young people haven't seen one another for a long time, so I have to introduce them. <laughs> Jenny, this is Dean. Dean, this is Jenny. <laughs> so now you know that you're marrying the right girl and the right fella. Poor. Rich with poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. <laughs> All right, so separate your hands and Jenny, you take Dean's hands. I Jenny, take you, Dean. I Jenny, take you, Dean. <laughs> to be my husband. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poor. For richer for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. What God has joined together, man must not separate. May the Lord confirm the consent that you have given and enrich you with his blessings. Oh you bless as well. <laughs> it's my privilege now and duty to pronounce Dean Monaghan and Jennifer Hughes, <laughs> husband and wife, and the groom may kiss the bride. <laughs> Over the moon, he's totally delivered. <laughs> From years back, this is the girl I wanted, so I'm not getting her now, I'm happy. You know, she finally has me tied down, finished, and that's it now, so that's me gone for every. You just said you finally got priest. me. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted, and yeah, uh, yeah, delighted so far, she's happy so far, and yeah. she's smiling, which is yeah. better than, yeah. <laughs> this is exactly where she wanted to be, exactly the setting. I just hope now the rest of the day runs as smoothly as the morning. We're happy with what we've done. We're happy with what we've done. I think we think Jenny, Jenny's going to like it. We, should, we know Jenny will like it. I think as long as it's anything but a hotel in Tullamore, that's just what she did not want. He'll, he'll be on a winner if it's anything but that. Did you miss me now? My little info hunting? Um, did you? I missed the dinners. I missed the dinners, Jen. Now, I won't fucking lie now. I won't lie, honest to God. I missed Why? Because you couldn't come up to your mother's house. Huh? Who are you? Seriously. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, Ah, oh, fuck it, now I do. I actually thought we were going to Port Leach, now we're not. Where are we going, seriously? Do you know what I It looks like Jenny's worst fear is about to come true. Okay. Mm hmm. You? I'm going to Port Smile on it anyway. Obviously, not a child. I'm not going to go and have a tantrum now and sulk, but. <laughs> He's a lifetime now to listen to that, so he's fine, he's fine. It may be a hotel in the centre of town, but Dean has done all he can to create a whole new world within. It's just going to take him a while to get her there. Do you want to tell me where we're actually going now? Huh? What would you call it? It's kind of a road. Is this the nightclub? No. Is this the nightclub? I think so. All I'm going to say is, right? OK. Go on. You got your passport. What is it? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh look, the big banner and everything. Wow. It's just brilliant. Oh, huh? Thanks. Oh look! This is all I even have the ball and everything. It's like being back in New York in Times Square uh, where we did get engaged. So. Amazing. I'm so impressed with what you've done. We nailed it, to be honest. I think we had myself here now, we nailed it. That's it. That's where we got engaged. Oh, that's what it is, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. Thank you. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh. I think your guests will like it. I fucked him up to don't. I love it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he definitely, definitely redeemed himself on the surprise of coming in here. I just knew immediately. I was like 10 out of 10. Just was bowled over. I I couldn't believe the amount of work that went into it because a lot of work did go into that. I thought it was amazing. It really was, and it's very different, and it's very dim. Poor old Niles getting over doing the whole naked cowboy thing from last week. Yeah, they're going to be the talk of the town for a, a couple of weeks, and fair juice to them, the three of them done very, very well. 
Well, I have to say, they, they have really surpassed now, and I would have high enough expectations. <laughs> they really have pulled it off. I'm absolutely delighted. Um, but obviously, yeah, I was put on a breakfast earlier. <laughs> My son and wife. <laughs> you were everything I ever wanted, and will ever want. And in Caden, you have given me, given me the greatest feeling I ever felt. And just want to finish by saying to you a little advice given to me by a man with over 50 years' experience, Mr. Albert Grandad Henshi. I might not be able to give you the biggest or the best things in life, but one thing I will give you is my word. And with that, I promise from this day to love our family more and more every day and to be there for you. So I'll bless you, lads. Raise your glasses to the new Mrs. Monaghan. Yeah, boom. Well done, Bobby. Back to me, high five. <laughs> Kieran, I think we're after talking to you up too much. You reckon? Me, you done very well. I actually thought you'd done great. Niall, you did great. Thanks very much, Chuck. High five. Oh. Ah, no, 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 no. Next time on Don't Tell the Bride. A snooker hall reception? From zero to hero. The perfect dress? No, no, no. To plan. Oh, Baking bad. Oh, no, it is. And a very dangerous bird. Fuck you, Aaron Callan. <laughs> <laughs>